Hello and welcome to Muddy Paws Crime Live. Um, we are doing this live as an urgent appeal for the stolen dog Maple. Um, some of you watching are aware about Maple. Um, for those that aren't, we will be sharing this video after and any links to the page. And we are pleading with the public for information. Um, tonight I have with me an admin from um, Maple's group. So thank you very much for coming on and the admin is talking on behalf of the owner because the owner is understandably too emotional to be talking about her stolen dog so you know we we, we need to do what we can for them um so welcome and um if you can tell us a little bit about how maple was stolen Good evening, Lisa, Muddy Paws Crime, and everybody watching today. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Maple, the therapy dog, owned by a registered disabled vulnerable lady, went missing on a familiar but irregular walk on Monday the 21st of March, nearly four weeks ago. Maple's owner is, usually has Maple very close by. On this particular occasion, for some reason, Maple went through a hedge and onto a lane, seconds in front of her owner. When her owner exited the gap in the hedge, she could see a vehicle, no Maple, and shortly afterwards, another person on the lane. Maple was nowhere to be seen. Extensive searches were immediately carried out. The route scented. Monitoring in place, Maple was nowhere to be found. Okay. And um, have you had any leads since the Maple group has been set up? Yes, we've had quite a lot of information come forward. Family and friends were very quickly on the ground, door knocking, postering, leafleting the area, and received a number of CCTV opportunities from several um, sources. A key eyewitness was spoken to immediately at the time and also since and with all this information has been passed to Thames Valley Police for an active criminal investigation into the theft of Maple. Okay and um, Maple is quite a distinctive looking dog isn't she? We will actually be showing uh, some photos of Maple as we go on with the live um, but if you can just tell us a little bit about her distinguishing marks. Certainly she's a very small cockapoo she was mixed with the toy poodle. Um, Maple is red in colour and has four points of white on her. They can be seen on our Facebook page but the most distinguishing is probably her beard. She has a little bit of white on her head, on her snout and also on her chest, more visible when she's being groomed. Okay. Um, just a question that's in the comments. Um, were there any drones being flown in the area? Um, and do you have any CCTV footage? We aren't aware of any drones being flown at that particular occasion on that afternoon. We have deployed a drone since then following an unconfirmed sighting. The CCTV footage um, has captured the only vehicle that was in the immediate area at that time. Um, it's captured it in several locations between Hinton Road, Broadwater Lane and Hogmore Lane and the return journey. And that is the vehicle of interest. Okay. We will be showing um, the vehicle as clear as possible um, in a moment also. Um, talking about the owner, um, what impact has um, the theft of Maple had on them? Thank you. <clears throat> she has two chronic illnesses and is registered disabled. This has significantly impacted her physical and mental well-being since. She's very understandable and just, you know, from the heart, just so, so sorry they're going through this. Um, we know that you've um, kindly taken over taking calls about Maple. Um, have you had hoax calls at all? Yes, within the first day, Maple's owner received the first hoax call 
Um, I've also received several hoax calls since, all times of the day and night, always from male persons, um, ranging from demanding money to threatening what they would do to my children, what they would do to Maple. So, um, yeah, I mean, every owner that we speak to has these calls and, you know, it, it, it's just beyond words that somebody can actually pick up a phone and do this. It's absolutely traumatic what the owners are going through. Um, it, it's absolutely beyond words, to be honest with you. Um, what we're going to do now, I'm going to, and I always say try and share my screen because I know I'm not great at it. I'm not very tech. Um, I will share my screen. We will show you Maple's Facebook page um, that if you haven't joined already, please, please, please join and please share. Um, we will then show you some photos of Maple that shows her distinguishing marks also. And um, we're going to show a picture of the car as clear as possible. Um, so if anybody has any information about this vehicle, please, please come forward and give information to admin at Maple's group. Or you can uh, message Money Pause Crime and we will pass that on. Um, and lastly, we'll be showing... Um, if you can tell us a little bit about um, what the last video we will show, um, that is the route, isn't it, that Maple was stolen? Yes, it shows the lane um, where Maple was last seen and the short distance between the key eyewitness and Maple's owner with the vehicle in between, it shows that sort of distance. And, and, yeah, so um, we please, you know, for anybody that was um, in the area at that time, even before or after that you might recognise this car, please come forward with information. So firstly, I'm going to thank you very much for that information so far. Um, I'm just going to share my screen. So this is Maple's Facebook page, which is maple-stolen-hurstrg10. A big factor, Maple is spayed. She's also microchipped. Yes. And could I just add that you can actually visibly see Maple's spay scar on her belly. That is another distinguishing feature and proof that she was spayed. And that took place in December 2020. Thank you. So, you know, if anybody has taken Maple for breeding, she cannot be bred from. So please give information about Maple. And, um, you know, hand her into a vet. A, a rescue, um, get in touch, just, just where somebody can collect maple from. Don't need to be in trouble with the police or anything. The owner is just desperate to have maple home. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some photos of maple. As you can see, she is a small toy cockapoo. If you do want to say anything while I'm showing these photos, please do. But I may not um, speak about <coughs> Thank you. Just, thank the you, Lisa. That's all right. The vulnerable owner, you know, that's already been mentioned. Um, Maple, as well as being a pet dog, she's a therapy dog also. You know, please, please have a heart and give her back to her owner. There is a large reward for Maple's safe return, just to reiterate that. And the, the large reward, obviously, you know, this doesn't encourage hoax calls to try and get the money. You will if you have Maple. Um, OK, so do you want to just go over these distinguishing marks? Yes. OK, so you can see from the top down that she has a small white tuft on her, the top of her head some longer strands on her snout and the beard, which you'll see in some of the videos um, of Maple on her page and um, in other photographs is, is probably the most prominent and the small white patch of fur on her chest. Um, it, they are more visible when she's being groomed. Okay. Um, not no, no. If, if Maple is in a muddied or unkempt state, she yeah. can look quite a different color dog, as you will see on the Facebook page 
examples of how she appears when she's muddy, when she's wet. Yeah, so that's important for people looking out for Maple to keep an eye because thieves do try and disguise um, what the dog looks like to when they actually stole them. Um, so please bear that in mind also. Another picture of Maple here. Bless her. Did Maple have a collar on when she was stolen? Yes, she had a pink collar and two unusual ID tags. Um, one saying she was microchipped, another with owner's name, address and contact number on. We haven't located the collar or the tags. Nobody has handed her in. Okay. So chances are that, um, you know, she probably won't be wearing this collar now. Um, we don't feel it's a sort of theft by finding as such because this vehicle in question. Um, but, you know, if somebody did pick Maple up and thought she was a lost dog, you know, please, please come forward. She's not yours. She belongs to the owner. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you a quick um, little... I'm not sure actually if this will work. Bear with me. told you I'm not great at this. Um, so here we have like a, just a very short video of uh, Maple. They can see her white beard is quite prominent. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. She's a lovely dog heartbreaking okay i'm going to show you now um this is the sorry not this one uh this one here is the vehicle in question um we will put a cropped version into the chat um but can you talk a little bit about this car which is yes. the top one yeah that is a Saab and we believe a 9.3. Um, initially described as very dark blue in colour, um, but we believe that the, the vehicle is actually black. Okay. We'll put the um, cropped video into, sorry, the um, cropped photo into the actual um, comments um, because obviously we don't want the surrounding area to be shown too much. So, okay, so I'm just going to show now um, the video. If you can talk us through this. Yes, of course. So this is Hogmore Lane, um, looking towards Broadwater Lane. And it was on this lane that the car approached a person who was on the telephone at this location and the male in the rear passenger seat, um, quite intimidating and persistent, aggressively, asking about a chainsaw shop in the vicinity. Um, she tried to ignore the conversation because she, the person was on a phone call with somebody else, but the male was persistent and the vehicle drove alongside the person for some time, eventually made off towards Poplar Lane, which is up ahead. The person felt quite uncomfortable by this encounter and carried on walking um, in this direction. This was the field just through the hedge where Maple was being walked. Not a regular walk, but she's been there before. Um, just a few seconds in front of her owner. The person kept walking around this corner. And as she turned, um, the White House up ahead is where it's believed that Maple exited the field. Um, as the person got around the corner, they were very relieved to see another person on the lane. And that person was Maple's owner looking for Maple. So in that short distance of a few hundred metres, maybe 200 metres, there was nobody else on the lane. The opposing field is thick with gorse, chicken wire. The, the ditches have been looked in with grass verge. There was nobody else on that lane at that time between Maple's owner and the person that encountered the vehicle. Up ahead, um, the vehicle was seen turning and coming back towards Maple's owner and the key eyewitness. They were both stood here talking. Um, Maple's owner straight away said, I hope my dog's not in that car. The car went past them. Um, 
not not speeding and went back in the direction of Broadwater Lane and out of sight. Then CCTV picked up the movements beyond that. Um, so you can see from that video, um, you know, it, it, it's a very clear video, and thank you for doing that, um, about the route that the car took. Um, we need information. Um, we will put the clearest photo that we have, um, as, you know, as much as possible into the comments. Um, it is also, it is on Maple's page at the moment, isn't it? It is, and we do have some more images that we hope to be able to share in time as well, including a person description, the person that engaged the key eyewitness, for example, who was wearing an orange high visibility top. Right, okay. So again, if anybody in the area, um, on just remind us of the date and time again. Monday, the 21st of March, 2022, which is four weeks this Monday, this coming Monday, um, 3.15, 3.22, 3.26, 3.30 relevant times. So in that sort of time frame, if there's anybody else that we haven't already spoken to that's either come forward to us direct, to Thames Valley Police or Crime Stoppers, please do so. We still are looking for some more pieces to this puzzle. And, um, you know, again, if anybody wants to or is a bit concerned, uh, feel free to message me at Muddy Horse Crime and uh, we will pass the information on. Um, you know, some people think, you know, if somebody has picked Maple up, um, I'd say by accident, you know, but for whatever reason and you think you're going to get in trouble, look, just let Maple go home. As I say, she's more than a pet also. She's a therapy dog. Please, please, please give information and let me go home. Right, well, we'll finish there. Uh, sorry about my little glitch on my sharing screen there. As I say, I'm not that tech, but I did my best. Um, there may be a few questions in the comments after the live. So if you want to pop on and um, answer those, that would be great. Um, for anybody watching now, if you're not part of Maple's group, please join and please share nationwide because obviously we are aware when dogs are stolen, they could then be anywhere in the UK. Um, and for anybody watching after this, again, please join Maple's page um, and share, share, share. Share to all the platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, wherever you can, please. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to add before we go? Um, just to reiterate that Maple is microchipped with a stolen marker on her record. We do regularly check to see whether she's been scanned. Um, if any vets or rescues do take in um, a, a, a dog, um, mm -hmm. please scan for her microchip. Um, she does have some medical conditions. So she, mm -hmm. has, she should be on medication for her stomach, a skin condition and an ear infection. Um, so hopefully she isn't suffering without that um, and presents at a vet soon. So please, please, anything you know, let us have the information so she can yeah. return to her devastated family. So okay. if, um, you know, if you are watching um, the thief, if you are watching, um, if you do have maple, obviously she can't be bred from. She does have medical conditions. Um, her owner is suffering greatly. Um, you know, you shouldn't be walking this earth if you don't give Mabel back, basically. Um, that poor dog also needs attention. Please get her to a vet. If you don't want to be known, just take her to the vet and run, you know. Just let Mabel go home. Um, if she has been sold on, obviously it looks as if uh, Mabel will need a vet. Um, so... Hopefully, you know, if, if that does happen, she will be scanned quickly and home quickly. But we, we, we do beg with you, please, please, please let Maple go home. Well, we're finished now. Um, thank you so much for coming on on behalf of the owner. Um, and I know that you want to say a big thank you for all the shares and uh, people that have actually been helping, looking out for Maple messaging. 
um, you know, with information. Everything gets followed up by the admin. They're working so hard, as do admins of many groups. Um, and yeah, we'll finish there. Um, is there anything else you wanted to add? No, just a massive thank you, especially to the local community, the wider community. We've had some fantastic support, not only from, um, you know, neighbours, residents, friends, family, um, people we've never met. Um, you know, we've had um, contact with several different police forces as well. And of course, a big thank you to Muddy Paws Crime for allowing us to speak and to anonymity as well, which is significantly important for us on this occasion. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we would never ever force anybody to be on camera or even use your name. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we need to get the dogs home. And uh, that's what we are about. And giving, you know, owners and dogs a voice, no matter how we do it. So, well, thank you very much again for coming on. Um, again, everybody watching, please, please, please join Maple's group and share. And um, thank you very much for Muddy Paul's Crime. Thank you.